This is my modified long strike. The modifications I've done to this blaster are integrating a Busby Extreme Blastzooka air tank with the stock pump. Pump has been plugged so that I can put whatever pressure I want into it. Trigger has been connected so that when I pull the trigger, it fires the blaster. And the barrel setup that I have, instead of doing the bolt action using the stock sled and whatnot, I just like the simplistic barrel that's connected to the faux barrel and whatnot. To keep the reloading function simple, I just have it so that you twist the barrel out and then cycle the breech mag fed. So what you do is you have your magazine in the thing and then you just push the barrel back and it picks up the dart in the magazine with no issues, it feeds very well. And the barrel is about 18 inches of CPVC, which is then connected to an eight string scar barrel, which is then connected to a little bit of PVC with some holes drilled into it for reasons. Don't really know why I did that, but apparently when I made this, I did that. Also, I was having an issue when firing at high pumps. Whenever I would go over 10 pumps, pretty much, in this blaster, whenever I would fire it, I would only fire the dart head. The dart foam would stay in the back of the barrel. And what I found out was, it was because the air tank was right next to the dart, the change in pressure just popped the dart head right off. And so what I've actually done is I've taken the air restrictor from a Maverick, cut it to fit down into the coupler, so that now the air is not right into the middle of the dart. It has to go around the air restrictor to the sides, allowing me to give this lots of pumps and fire very well. Getting really good performance. Because it's powered by an XCBZ, I can pretty much get whatever power I want. If I'm firing too hard for some of the people that are playing on my war, pump it a few less times. If somebody is not calling their hits, give that boy a little bit more pumps and then just destroy them. Uh, the stock is also made in removable for CQB action. Ah. I'm gonna run this as a pistol. Those dang reloads done. Works flawlessly at CQB. Totally not overly long or anything. The main thing that I really like about this blaster is it's very simple to use and also when firing, it's actually very quiet. When I fired at the door, it was pretty loud because it hit the door. But if I'm just firing downrange, you just hear a nice little tick. Nothing else. Stealthy sniper rifle. I also cycle the breach multiple times if I want to fire off like a shotgun spread of darts. Which is pretty cool. No paint job, don't really plan making a paint job for this because I don't ever use it. <laughs> I built it because I had an XBZ and I had a long strike and I wanted to make a long strike that was powerful, but never really planned on using it. But it's a cool blaster to have. You gotta at least have at least one air blast that you can use. Yeah. Alright guys, that's been my long strike video. I hope you liked it. If you want to make one of your own, do it. It's fun. Air blasters are nice. Air blaster master race? Question mark? Yeah. Yeah? Good stuff, yeah. All for it. Yeah, I'm getting thumbs up from the crowd. <laughs> Fellow promoters giving me a thumbs up, so thumbs up. <laughs> if you liked if you liked the video, like, comment, and subscribe. Click that bell icon. Just get the king. <laughs> and uh, watch some of our other videos.